Ah, Highness, so you did get my letter. Sorry if it was a bit hard to read. Your language is hard to write in. Plus, your words. Three ways to spell read. Outrageous. Hmm? Well, don't friends in your kingdom spend time together? Isn't that how bonds are strengthened? I am very serious. I want a true friendship, and how can that happen when we don't even meet? Oh, come on, wait, wait, don't, don't go, Highness, come on. I brought ale. Yes, we have ale in my home. Really, you know so little about us. Well, I guess that's true. I don't know much about your people either. That just gave me an idea. What if we teach each other about our cultures? <laughs> yes, and for every answer, we get to drink. I knew you'd like that. All right, here, let's sit by the bank. Come. <clears throat> All right, since I called you here, I'll go first. Why do your people insist on such complicated clothing? Well, yeah. Look at your clothes. They're all laces and buttons and skies above. Can you even breathe in that thing? So, just because it looks nice, then. Hmm. Well, all right, I guess that's fair. Here, as the rules, you get a drink. All right, your turn. Anything at all. Do we all breathe fire? Well, no, not all of us. Most of us can, mind you. Uh, but for some of us, it just doesn't click. I can. Here, look. See? Pretty cool, if I say so myself. All right, pass the bottle. Mm. All right, my turn. What is with the um, the festival in the second month of the year? What is that? Yeah, yeah, the the one with all the couples and the kissing and <laughs> so much wine. So it's like a fertility festival? Oh, so it it just celebrates love. Huh. Well, no, we don't. Well, love is more of an afterthought to us. It's nice, but it's not the main goal of our lives. Well, that depends on who you ask. My goal is to keep my people safe. My father's is victory over your kingdom. For most, that's... All they want. Victory over personal pleasure. I, I, I want to change that. I see your parties and your art and your festivals and I want that for my people. They deserve some pleasure too. <laughs> I'll work myself to death if it means no more children have to grow up with dreams of a soldier's life. Wait a minute, wait, you, no, you asked two questions. <laughs> yes, you did. Here, here, all right, give me the bottle. Uh. Mm. Ah. Okay, uh, I've got one. The Battle of Nordu. <laughs> yes, yes, the one with the wildfire. What idiot thought dousing dragons in oil was a good idea? The general. <laughs> Please tell me he got demoted. Discharged. Oh, that is that is rough. That that's rough. All right, here you go. Does it hurt to change into human form? No. No, it's just uh, illusion magic. Only annoying thing is the time limit. 
usually only lasts a couple of hours before I have to rest and then cast it again. Alright, hand it over. Mm. Alright. Do you trust me? It means what it means. Do you trust me? Fair enough. Only a little is still better than none at all. Yeah, here you go. What makes me want peace so badly? This might come as a shock, but... You know, I used to be just as bloodthirsty and vicious as the next leader of a dragon army is expected to be. I hated humans. Looking back on it, I don't know if I was just following my father blindly, or if I actually had a reason. I think it was the battle in Windsorton. We had just set most of the crops ablaze, and I saw a family. Two kids looked very young. They were trying to pull their mother off of what I am assuming was the body of their father. It threw me off, but I kept going. After the humans retreated, I saw my friend. His name was Icreus. We grew up together, trained together. He didn't make it. Downed by a chain shot and then ripped open by humans. When, um, when I brought his claw back to his mother, she put on a brave face, but I know her son's death killed her inside. She's never been the same since. That's when I knew I had to end this. I had to bring this senseless fighting to an end. I had to help for the sake of our people. If I die doing so, then at least I'll die doing what I know is right. Ooh. Oh no. Looks like we're all out. I guess the game is over. <laughs> Look, the sun is starting to set. It's beautiful, isn't it? The colors swirling together. You know, I read in a book from one of your towns that when an artist dies, the gods let them paint the sky one more time. <laughs> Maybe it is just a fairy tale. But it's a nice thought. Hmm. Nothing. I just like your eyes. Full of wonder. <clears throat> no. I, uh, I should probably be going. And so should you, Highness. I am sure both of our behinds would be tanned red if they figured out what we were doing out here. Fly you high, Highness. I shall see you again. <laughs>